In today's video, guys, I'm going to go over the games that I'm trading in today at GameStop, and we're going to talk about it right now. What is going on, guys? Jim here at a video today, and today I'm going to go over the games that I'm going to be trading into GameStop, and this is a big stack of games, and I'm going to go over the reasons why. There are so many games in here. This 50% or 60% you see on the screen right here does not happen very often, especially now. You saw the video yesterday. This was a very, very big deal to happen, and the games are just worth so much at the time of the recording, which is Monday. Before we get started today's video, guys, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button, like this video, comment down below by the end of the video if you're trading games into this 50%, 60% deal, or are you going to wait out and wait till maybe the mid-year for a better deal? I don't know. This is honestly the best you're going to get, especially in January, which is freaking crazy. All right, let's get started. Keep in mind, I'll put on the screen right here the price, and I'll show you what the 50 or 60% bonus would actually get you. First game I'm trading in is Monster Hunter Generations 4 Ultimate. Now, this game is not bad. I know a lot of people who like this game and i know it's a pretty decent game for a monster hunter game but honestly after playing monster hunter world this is impossible to play it doesn't look great at all i just don't have time to play something like this over something like monster Hunter world which i don't even play as it is so this game is seven dollars if you're a member it's seven dollars and seventy cents and for the fifty percent on top of that is eleven twenty so eleven dollars and twenty cents for game number one number two we have mario party this is super mario party and the interesting thing about this is I actually have this digital. I literally went on the Switch and found this. I had digital for a year or two now, which is freaking crazy. This game trades in for a whopping $18, but it also has the 10%, which is $19.80. 50% brings it all the way almost to $30 at $28.20. So keep that in mind if you're trading this one in. Up next is a game I'm really, really uh, upset about. This is a game that I bought without a case. I definitely showed you guys this in a previous video. I know I could buy a case, but I prefer getting this complete next time. This game trades in for 18 to 28.80, so this is nearly $30. This is high rule. Honestly, this uh, I can't I just can't live with something like this. I If you're a collector, you'll understand. This is just this is yeah, I, I'm going to get this eventually back. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's just I can't stand games without cases and that case is probably $20 because I I know there's some 3DS cases that are like $30 and stuff like that. Up next, but that, that's besides the point. Up next, we have Halo Infinite. Now, I did not know that I had Game Pass for a year, so there's no point in keeping this. This trades in for $13 to $14.30, as you see on the screen here, and what is it, like $20.80 or something, $21? Not bad for a game that is literally on Game Pass and never went. Up next, we have a game I cannot get into. This is Destroy All Humans 2. I try to give this a chance. It is kind of funny, but it's kind of repetitive at the same time. I'm very into humorous things. I do, like, obviously, voice impressions. I am do stuff that's funny like that. But this, it's, it's funny, yeah, but it's also very repetitive. Not the jokes. It's actually repetitive. Like, you're literally doing the same thing over and over and over again. For $10 base, $11 with the 10%, and then $16 with the 50%. Up next is a game that I honestly should not have picked up. Uh, I thought it was going to be a good game like Danganronpa or something like that, but I definitely was totally wrong. This is Yuri Kill. Obviously, I haven't opened it yet because I played the demo, realizing this was so cheap on Amazon. That's the only reason why I picked it up. I think it was like $10 or $15, but it trades in for $8.80, I think, or $8 for, for uh, just base. $8.80 for 10% Power Rewards Pro, and then $12.80 to not get into the demo, and I love Danganronpa and stuff like that. This is just not for me, and it's one of the big mistakes I made over the holiday buying. Up next is a game I actually found really recently. This is Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, disc only. This trades in for $7, believe it or not. Uh, $7.70 with the 10%. $11.20 with the 50% as well. Remember, keep in mind, the 10% extra is if you are a Power Rewards Pro member. And it's really a good thing. It pays dividends. It's, it's amazing. Seriously, get that membership if you are about trading games and especially. But besides that, I don't really know, honestly. But, so yes, that 10% really helps you with this deal. Also, keep in mind, my Power Rewards Pro member is about to expire. Membership is about to expire, so hopefully I do that today as well. Up next is Star Wars Fallen Jedi Order. And the only reason why I'm trading this in, because it was free. I said in my video yesterday, about the GameStop video I made, that this is one of the plus games that you could trade in for about $8 uh, total. It's 5 and five fifty. You see the screen here, and then 50% brings it to $8. Oh, it's not bad for $8 considering it's on PS5. I have the PS4 version and it was free. So as long as you're a plus member and it can't go away. Keep in mind this is a free game that you get to keep as long as you're a member. Not like the catalog stuff that it just gets rid of everything. Up next we got a hat in time. I actually have this digital on the PlayStation. Yes, I should have not went crazy for this on GameStop site because I have it digital. You saw the video. I had a blank case with this in it. Found it physical on Amazon. And guess what? I have a digital. Very smart. Not really. This was... Uh, let's continue. 
Worst mistake ever. There we go. Two more games that are similar, and I'm only trading these in because guess what? They are digital. Far Cry New Dawn and Far Cry 4, but I have them digital on Xbox, which doesn't bother me at all because I love the Xbox as well. So what's the point of keeping two games I have on the Xbox? These games don't trade in for much. This one, I've seen the screen right here, is three dollars plus is three thirty to four eighty, I think it is. And this one's from four to four forty to around six forty, which is not bad considering these games were a dollar a month ago. Up next is a game also that is free on PlayStation Plus that I literally did not know I had, and th this is Mass Effect Trilogy. Six dollars, six sixty with the membership, and nine sixty with the um, promotion with the fifty percent. Yes, this game literally was free last month, and I'm glad I looked at it. Up next, we have Sonic Colors. This game trades in. The, it says nine dollars, but the other one says it's not in stock. They don't take it, but nine dollars. Uh, 990 with the 10% and 1440. Uh, this game, I, I'm try, I try to give it a chance. I guess it's because I didn't grow up playing this one. I grew up playing the other older Sonic games. Honestly, this isn't my kind of Sonic game, but it's not a bad game. I finally gave it a chance. Got pretty far on it. I just don't see myself playing this too much. Up next, we have Mario Rabbits and Kingdom Battle. This game right here is one game I've been waiting for a trade-in deal, and finally. This game has something with a value. This game never was this high. $14 base, $15.40 with a 10% and 20 something. You'll see in the screen right here for the 50%. I have the gold edition digital. There's no need for this. Up next is a game I've been trying to get rid of for a while now. It's Super Monkey Ball. $5 base, $5.50 with 10%, $8 for the uh, 50%. I remember I bought this around Black Friday to get a game with free shipping. And it was Valhalla because it didn't reach the $35. But yeah, I'm definitely getting rid of it to get the money back. And last, but certainly least, sadly, is Saints Row the Reboot. The one thing that's weird about this one is, if you look on the screen, there's no trade-in value. It has zero dollars on it. We're going to see today if this actually trades in, so I can let you guys know if this actually trades in. This game, I wanted to like it. Had some good things going for like variety, but this game's broken. This game literally is like Resident Evil Raccoon City level broken, honestly. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Just a quick video about the games I'm trading in and what the value of the price would be with the 10% if you're a member and the 50% extra if you are going to trade games in right now. Overall, it's the smartest time to trade your games in right now because you get 50% more. If you didn't see the video yesterday, I made a video and went deep into the actual deal and I talked about different things about it, everything you need to know. See on the screen right here. Make sure you check that video out because it will definitely help you more with the whole uh, thing about the 50% at GameStop trading bonus and why it's very important and different uh, things you can do to definitely increase the value of that. Let me know in the comment section below what games you're trading in. Let me know if you think this deal is stupid. Let me know if you think it's just GameStop or let me know also if you are gonna trade this stuff in towards possibly the VR if it ever gets announced at GameStop. It literally has me, it's like two weeks away. What are they waiting for? Stay awesome, stay positive, most of all, stay safe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out, guys.